What's up you guys, this is Godson and welcome back you dudes, we are playing Clash Royale today. Uh, now you guys, this is going to be some gameplay that I've been doing uh, for a little while now. I've been really grinding to get to 4k cups, but it's been off and on. I guess I, f I fight people that can counter me really good with my deck, and I think someone mentioned that in the comment box. They said, yeah Godson, you just figure that out right now. There's, there's definitely some gimmick going on with the um, search engine where you're matched up with people that have decks that are good against yours. And I think it's, it goes back and forth like that. I don't know, but... I, Musketeers, the three Musketeers have been the card that have been my primary choice. I've been wanting to run with those cards, but I have been fighting people. I don't know. They usually have either Lightning or Fireball and Zap or Rockets, but they never have just Zap or just fireball it's always the two combination and I haven't like it's always been a demotivator to use that deck but I still love it I still love the uh, musketeer deck and I've been thinking of going that route so we'll have to see I think the biggest deck that counter that counters me is um, the heavy troops the meat shield troops the golem and the lava hound and I think I think you might see a lot of those in the tournament coming up whether it be the Lava Lu no, not Lava Lunion. I don't, <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see Lava Lunion. Uh, but the Lava Infernal Dragon. I think we're gonna see those. We might see, I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the Goizen, Giant and Poison decks with the Prince in the back. Um, I'm not sure about the Golem decks. I might actually have a Golem deck on hand for myself, just because the Golem is um, a really good card and I get countered pretty bad with Golem decks if they use Pekkas. But definitely, I think that I might have a Golem deck on hand. Uh, I might actually use Poison, Goizen decks. And what else? You know, it's just there's just so many variations to the game, and that's why I love the game so much, you guys. The game right now is at a point where we have so much variation, and it works. They've balanced out all the cards. Even the Skeleton Horde has been balanced out, and people are using that. I'm even using that because it's so good. Only three elixirs, so that definitely brought that card back to life. And there's so much variation. I just hope they don't introduce more new cards that will change the game meta so that all the other cards are, are irrelevant now. I hope they just keep it going at this pace. Uh, we have a new card coming out in, what is it, like five days? And I'm pretty sure we're going to see people using that card just because it's, you know, the way it is, is definitely something that will complement decks. Uh, but I would like to see the... Um, I would like to see the Ice Golem fixed. I just don't see any potential with him yet. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen anyone using him except for Hog Rider decks, but I would like to see him balance some somehow. He's only two Elixir, but I just don't think he's strong enough. I don't know. Maybe if they have him go for troops instead of weapons, might be, um, might be the fix for him. That's what I'm thinking. Going for troops instead of weapons might be the fix for the Ice Golem. Because I would like to use the card. I just don't think he's strong enough. Okay, so you guys, right now I'm using, I'm still using my um, Furnace deck. This is just a chip damage deck. I have them at bay. I'm really pushing hard to keep these guys off of my towers and doing little bits of chip damage with my Miner and the Log to keep them back at bay. <clears throat> this just, man, these Royal Giants are a pain. <laughs> Okay, so, um, yeah, you guys, this this match didn't go too well. It was a draw. This guy was a level 11, and uh, he he countered me pretty hard. It wasn't a counter, but it's just his tower was able to defend against my furnace. One shot at my um, fire spirits, and I couldn't do much. So we would go back, and I'm starting the match again. So... What else can I talk about? What? Let's talk about the decks. So a lot of people have actually said in the comment box, they're saying really cheap Elixir decks were the way to go. Uh, uh, miners, Goblins, Infernal Towers, Mega Minions, which I do agree. I do agree. Uh, but those troops, they're good for all situations. That's what I feel. Those troops are good for all situations, but they get countered with heavy 
uh, decks like the Lava Hounds, the Golems, and I believe the maybe the Pekka. I'm not too sure about the Pekka, but I know the the uh, Lava Hounds and the Golems are definitely counters to those. Uh, but they're good in all situations. It seems like, and I don't know, I've I've used a lot of those decks and they work really good, but it seems like you have to work harder <laughs> just to maintain where you are. Yeah. You have to work harder against certain decks. I felt like, man, these guys are not even working as hard as I am. How is it? How is it uh, I have to keep, you know, multitasking my deck just to keep them off my towers and they can just throw whatever out there. So I'm thinking I might just go with a meat shield deck. I'm thinking that's what I might do. Lava Hound, Mega, uh, Lava Hound, Minion Horde, Arrows, Barbs, and Elixir Pump. I think someone pointed out in the, uh, in one of our chats, one of the other YouTubers pointed out that there is an extreme advantage and disadvantage at having an Elixir Pump at the start of the match. And I agree with that. Unless you have something to hit their pump with, like the Miner, to go after their pump, I think you do have a starting advantage with your pump in the hand of your deck. And I... I don't know if that is something Supercell will look into because this game, there is a random factor in the game where, you know, that's just the way it is. Having a random factor at the start and during the match, and that's how it is with, uh, what is it, Hearthstone? They have that random factor. You have to rely on <laughs> the hand that you're dealt with and work from there. So I can see that. And, you know, I just feel if you have the elixir pump at the start of your deck, you might be at a disadvantage, but you can still come back. You can still come back. And hopefully, it just works in my favor. <laughs> and the tournament, hopefully I get the elixir pump in my deck and we can just start building from there. Because the elixir pump is a definite advantage. If you can build at least two of those and defend your tower, they're going to be hurting. They have to defend really hard. They're just going to have to go on defense the whole time and hope that they can stop you because Elixir Pumps do give you an advantage. Oh, man, you guys. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> and I got it. I barely got that one, you guys. Nice. Okay, so that was uh, the second match. I'm still pushing my heart out. I'm still pushing my heart out to get to this 4K, but... I just get matched with all these decks. Uh, but this one, like I mentioned in the last video, like I've been going really good with this deck, and then all of a sudden I went to my clan members. I'm like, hey, you guys, I need you to help me out. I need to train. And then uh, they just destroyed me. <laughs> like, oh, so you're using that deck in the tournament, huh? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. Now I'm having second guesses. I'm thinking I might just go with the Musketeer deck. Musketeer decks are... I don't know, they're such a good card because you could split these guys up. You could have two on one side and then a musketeer, another musketeer going that way. And then you could defend the single musketeer with like a horde or uh, a goblin card. <clears throat> and then, I don't know, with me, I like to use uh, variations with the ice spirit and the rage spells because ice spirits, you know they're going to try and put like a Valkyrie or a Barb card right there to counter you as soon as they cross the line to their tower. Uh, so having an Ice Spirit behind your three Musketeers to hit them right when they put a card down really puts uh, an advantage in your favor. Or just catching them off guard by just putting all three Musketeers right in the front and then hitting them with the Rage Spill completely just uh, confuses them. Like, oh dang, he's pushing so fast. So I've been doing that and it has worked out in certain situations, but I don't know if that will... It works against some people. <laughs> But the trained people that have been playing for a while, you can't catch them off guard like that. So I don't know. I, I have to keep experimenting, and I think that's what I, what I encourage you guys. Experiment in the challenge modes. Challenge modes, these people are taking it serious, and they want... Uh, they're playing for money, basically. You're playing for money, and they're not going to fall for easy stuff. So trying all of your new techniques in challenge mode and seeing if it, if it works in at least like maybe three matches, then it works. I would say that. If it works in three matches, then it works overall, and you can keep trying it until people catch on to it, and it uh, becomes a, a thing where they're able to counter it consistently. And that's another thing I've noticed with the three Musketeers, dropping them right in the middle of the enemy map. 
or on the enemy side allows you to stay protected because unless they stay unless they move they're not going to get hit with towers so putting them right there is a really good way to to fight and oh my gosh you guys these three musketeers can melt lava hounds and um lava hounds that just get melted with them if you can protect them on your side of the base uh so three musketeers will be probably the card i'm gonna go with i'm just hoping no one has a lightning or a fireball zap combination Maybe I shouldn't spill my secrets in these videos, but uh, I think the Musketeers might be a, a route that I'm going to go with Goizen and maybe Lava Hound. It's just uh, a lot to do, a lot to think about before the tournament comes, and hopefully you guys will be tuning in, watching, and I will you know, play hard, keep training, you guys. So this is my deck that I've been using. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.